using the almighty and powerful will of the gods. May the two of us now begin our verbal journey to inform the region of Indiana of the heights beneath their beds, what sleeps in their walls, and what persuades in the very being. Oh, it's on? Oh, oh, okay, okay, cool. Um, <coughs> Well, it's a good day to be out of the office because Witticism Worldwide is finally back, and with that, your new hosts. I am Demetrius, the legendary executioner, from the faraway mountain region of Alinea, where the giants roam free. There, I grew up in a small village town with my mother, after my father's brutal death by the likes of a Viking crew looking to steal our wares. From then on, I vowed to become the greatest warrior known to the country, and learn to harness the power of the gods in this sword. And I'm David, an accountant. David the accountant is what he calls is my what he calls best friend, a human by which you destroy worlds to protect. As he's done before. As I have done many times. One does not but glance so unkindly at David, for this sword will smite those who even dare lay a hand on him. David is a perfect human. I grew up in a suburb and went to college. I'm engaged. Life's been pretty good, especially with Demetrius here. And it shall continue to thrive, much like our years-long friendship, like juice from the berries high up in the mountains I called home. As it will, Demetrius, but... If I do the math correctly, we're already running out of time. Oh, no can do, my soul warrior. I will read the words on screen carefully now. Let's get into the news. The queen's funeral was broadcasted this week to nearly every TV station in the UK. But Britain's Channel 5 chose to honor Her Majesty by playing a somber screening of the emo... Emo... Em emoji. Like the little faces you send me when we're texting? Oh, of course! The emblems! Yeah. Anyway. A somber screening of the emoji movie. Before you think this is disrespectful, it's actually a little-known fact that the Queen herself was the voice of none other than peach emoji, but that was cut in the final release. Channel 5 was merely honoring the Queen by adding this long-lost scene in her memory. We're sure it's what she and the royal family would have wanted. A boy from Toronto was recently arrested in connection to a carjacking on Sesame Street. This is just another example of the show inspiring our children to break the law. Remember when Cookie Monster was arrested while under the influence of Snickerdoodles, or how the Count is known for his frequent tax evasion? And Big Bird, we're on to you. We haven't heard from Snuffleupagus in a while, and you've been rather quiet on his whereabouts. A Vancouver City Council member has discussed his opinions on home eviction. He says that you should take a poop to assert ownership. And we here at Witticism Worldwide fully support this. It's your land, and if they want to take it away from you, then you should at least have the freedom to poop there. Gods, that's what all countries were built on. I'm sure your George Washingtons would be rolling in his shallow grave if you let something like an eviction stop you from dropping a deuce in your home. It's your God-given right. NASA has decided to have the public name their next probe to Uranus and They've quickly learned that this may have been a grave mistake. I would continue with the story, but I think the jokes write themselves. After all, I wouldn't want to go sticking my nose where it doesn't belong. In recent What's the f news, the Taliban has publicly stated that they believe the game PUBG and social media TikTok are too violent and immoral and must be banned. Yes, the well-renowned terrorist group may have took control over an innocent country and its people, as well as having committed several war crimes in the past, but even they have standards and condemn things like pay to win and harboring all your data, which seems to be universally hated even by terrorists. Nice stuff. It's not exciting enough. Show me war, crimes, terror, sadness, anger! Now, 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 Demetrius, let's not get too excitable. Maybe there will be a news story for you, but we can't go rampaging just yet. 
Rampage, who's rampaging? I just wanna have fun, jump rope or something, or like play with a puppy. I'm mad! We can play with puppies later, or destroy villages, whichever one you please. But we were hired to do a job here and we're gonna get it done. Well, fine. But only for puppies and destroyed villages. In recent witticism worldwide news, screams of terror could be heard from behind the studio last Thursday in what some have said sounded like downright awful display of perhaps a Netflix special. And while I don't quite exactly know what that means, many eye and ear witnesses have agreed that there was probably, definitely, some sort of incident that occurred that night. Despite this suspicion, not many crew members or even the justice system itself have attempted to reach out and solve the mystery of what happened, seemingly because no one cares. And it wasn't Demetrius the Executioner, I can tell you that! I was with him that night. We were at the theater, watching Nope. What a movie, am I right, Demetrius? All I can say is, wow! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Something about it. Speaking of magic screens and things I don't understand, Splatoon 3 released a couple weekends ago, and I've been playing it to no end lately. Tell you what, witticisms, David put me onto video games back in the 2010s, and since then I've been quite the gamer. Every night this week I've come home from a long day of slaying and tucked my sword in bed beside me, then promptly picked up my Nintendo Switch and played some of the squid game everyone was once speaking of. I like when my color is green. It's my favorite color. Okay, first off, Squid Game was an Netflix series. Splatoon is something else. And video games? This isn't the show about that. Get your head into news, buddy. Our viewers are gonna fall asleep. I like to play with the sword because it reminds me of my own sword. Well, Demetrius, you simply don't understand the loss of time. Oh, see? It's time for the weather already. The weather? Yeah. Look over there, it's starting. Aye, something very fishy, as David's family would say, is going on with this one. Uh, hello? What? <laughs> you are not the man who controls the clouds. You are too, too clean shaven? Well, this is odd and suspicious. I don't see a tie on you. Just who are you, and what happened to the real weatherman? Oh, oh God, you, you, you're talking to me? Yes, you, what are you, an imposter? No way they would let someone with the likes of you into this sacred place. I blessed it before I even entered. Hey, take that back, old man. I am not an imposter, I, I swear. Uh, the weatherman just uh, quit. Yeah, uh, he quit. Uh, and he'll never be back. He quit. Well, that was sudden. I mean, God, it just seemed like yesterday we were sharing drinks and watching the constellations together. Oh, David, what did I tell you about boys? I just expected something different this time, Demetrius. I, I don't know. I thought maybe we could. God, it's stupid. Your needs aren't stupid, David. There'd just be many humans who take advantage of that. Demetrius the Executioner would never take advantage of your weaknesses. Uh, uh, well, anyway, now that he's gone, I'm taking over the news, and this way, everything will be much, much better from now on. I hope no one minds. But he was a great weatherman. He, like, did everything a weatherman does, like, read and do basic math equations. How can you get, how can you make that better? Only fools make promises they can't keep. Prove you have what it takes to control the weather like our friend of the distant past. I can do that. Of course I can do that. I mean, look at this! <laughs> Whoa! Dark magic! And that's not all! Uh, uh, look here! I can tell that right now autumn is beginning and uh, you're gonna have a, uh, a wonderful day, whether you like it or not. <laughs> no way. You've gotta be lying. Maybe they are powerful, like Demetrius. Right, so are you gonna leave me alone now? <laughs> I, I gotta, gotta take care of them. Some uh, extra stuff. <laughs> well, sure, just 
be back next week because the crew says you're hired and we've got to cut to a commercial break. Wait. <laughs> May the gods bless you with their power. Goodbye, warrior. Oh, ne next week? What do you mean? <laughs> Here at IRB, we have reviews and recommendations of local and indie music that you don't hear about every day, as well as music news from in and around India. Best of all, we got performances from local artists live in the studio. So check out our YouTube channel, or check your locally on Channel 6. If you're an IUP student and you want to come film with us, DM us on our socials or shoot us an email. All the info you need is in the description below. See ya! What's up, fellas? Welcome back to Witticism Worldwide. Today, I'm going to be taking you on a tour of the TV studio. Welcome to Studio A. This is where we do almost nothing. Like, honestly, we don't do a ton here. Yeah. Nothing but business and work getting done in here. Let's... Yeah. TV, boom. On the TV, boom. Come over here. Studio B. This is where the magic happens. Got the homies. We're filming. Boom. Filming absolutely nothing. But there could be anything there. That's half the fun of it. Got this table, the witticism. This is our table. If you see it on other TV shows, Call me, because I'm suing them. This is ours. This isn't a bit. You hear me? Big hit? Press play? Yeah. Back off. Boom. Josh. He doesn't go to the school anymore. He wasn't on witticism. What's up, buddy? Ooh, he's sturdy. hard down there. <laughs> Welcome to the booth. This is where the magic really happens. Right here, we got the It does that. Then it works the teleprompter. Okay, right here, we got the That does the switcher. That's all the fun stuff. Over here, we got the Okay, that does the mics. Follow me to the editing bay. Welcome to the editing bay. Hello, oh, me. This is where we edit. Look at him edit. Look at him go. Look at these boys getting their editing done. Here, through the door of the office. It opens perfectly. Every time. Perfectly every time. It's easy to get into. Art at work. Let's go, boys. And finally, the piece to learn this song. Can't film without a microwave. Thank you for coming to my studio tour. I can't help it. <laughs> And with that, we're back. So far, we've covered quite a bit of news, Demetrius. What would you say about the issues at the moment? Demetrius. Soon. Soon. Demetrius, we're live. Uh, alive? Of course I'm alive, friend David. I breathe only air blessed by nature's animals, trees, and spirits. I am alive. Alive with love for power and hatred of all that is a threat to you. Speaking of nature, what's one thing humans do outside to have fun? Die! That's right, sports. 
and it's already long overdue. Let's quickly hand it over to the sports person so they can tell us everything that sports is about. Hi guys, I'm the new sports guy. Um, I'm Carson Zadroga. Um, I'm going to explain the uh, football season. So uh, let me first go over what football is. So football is the sport where you, um, well, it's a very, it's a gentleman's sport. You, you take the club and you go over to a seagull. Um, and then you, you know, uh, then that seagull will give you the ball. And then you hit that ball uh, with your leg. And then, you know, you gotta kick it into, um, you know, obviously the, the lake, the river. Um, and, you know, if it makes, you know, if it makes two splashes, you get two points. You know, that's how football works. So now I'm gonna explain soccer. So soccer is pretty simple. Um, you know, you go in this, this ring, um, I, I think it has like lava in it or something like that, and you have these sticks and you, um, you know, you beat the, you know, it's this very special ball. Um, it, it's kind of like a circle. Um, you know, you, you beat the puck uh, with, uh, with your stick. That's why, you, that's why it's called soccer, because you got a socket. And sometimes, occasionally, you run into your fellow players or enemies. Um, bonus points if you hit your enemies, um, but like um, friendly fire, negative points if you hit your allies. Um, so yeah, that's, that's how soccer works. You just gotta sock them. Remember that, just start swinging around. Um, I'm sure that Hamlet guy knows what he's talking about. Uh, he, he knows a lot about that sport. Um, all right, now let's explain. Now I'm gonna talk about the biggest sport there is. Um, and that is, well, it's honestly baseball. And now let me explain baseball to you. So baseball, well despite everything, that was sports. Is it over now? Do we get to go home? Maybe eat some grub? Now now, Demetrius. Unfortunately, just like us, the world keeps turning. And we've got more and more news to cover. This is not exciting! I want to tear limbs off of animals and eat them whole! Do you cretins not understand the day in the life of a god? I need to display my power! And you can do that once the show is over. This is just like when you came to, with me to the office one day. You threw coffee all over my coworkers. I was ordered to by the gods. We talked about blaming everything on gods. I suppose. Now this is plenty more exciting than a day at the office. Even though you know I love accounting possibly more than any living soul, let's get back into it. A recent FDA warning has released, and this time it runs cold with its truth, as it finally reminds us all that cooking chicken and cold medicine is a bad idea. I'll give it to the TikTokers, cold medicine is delicious. Give me a cup of great flavored Mucinex and you've got me on a leash. That doesn't mean I'm marinating my food with it, but, honestly, I haven't tried it yet, have I? I bet just once won't hurt. Imagine you, home, alone, scared, out of your mind scared, no sword, no Demetrius the Executioner in sight. Suddenly, intruders, everywhere, left to right, they're all you can see. Oh no, and even worse, they're coming close to your cheesecake. The cheesecake you made by hand for yourself for the first time in years. Nothing could be worse than that. I'm sure you all would be plenty shocked to find out that this horror story rang true for a man in Canberra who woke up to find his own intruders coming alarmingly close to ruining his cheesecake. Anything but that. Unfortunately, when called upon the scene, the police said they could do nothing to help the vicious crime. I mean, what are they even good for these days anyway? Karma is enough of a punishment for such terrible, awful crimes. A U.S. high school has decided to do something new to generate an income and fund its growing athletics program. What, might you ask, is this high school up to? Well, none other than raffling real guns. That's right, amid all the, well, some would say noise about guns, and schools, and encouraging kids to own weapons, 
This school district decided to be bold and blunt with how it feels. So don't wait, don't hesitate, and come on down to the fifth annual high school gun raffle with us. I'm sure it'll all go as planned. A certain special someone is going on his 53rd marriage in only 43 years soon, and wit worldwide had quite a lot of questions for the man. After I, Demetrius, went out into the field, which I will remind you was a real-life field, not a fake one, I found out some integral information surrounding our groom, and gossipers would be delighted to know that his marriage streak is sticky. Like many weak humans, the man is just trying to find peace and stability, something that is truly unobtainable in life. Much like true love, a perfect job under capitalism, and my long-lost father. Don't get worn out just yet, Demetrius. I know you're a man of less talking, more doing, but I promise you we're almost to the end. I am not exhausted. There was a bug in the air. I swallowed him. All right then. A University of Utah student was arrested this Wednesday after supposedly threatening to detonate a nuclear reactor if the Utah's football team didn't win this weekend. According to police, the student both knows about nuclear reactors as well as where to find one. Personally, I don't even believe that Utah is real, let alone that they have a nuclear reactor. But even then, I see no problem with what the student said. I mean, come on, it's just a little bit of fun between the boys. If my favorite football team didn't win, I personally would commit heinous acts against the world around me. I'm blessed with the power of ancient gods, but who doesn't love Mariah Carey? Between her pop music and one Christmas song that plays at every mall after September starts, she has shown herself to be quite the artist. But what if you want the voice of Mariah Carey over, I don't know, grunge music? Well, you're in luck because Miss Carey has told interviewers that recordings of her singing on a secret grunge project from 1995 have resurfaced and may be releasing soon. I think that hearing the sound of Mariah Carey's voice over a grunge rock beat would instantly put me into a coma, but what would I know? Rapper and producer Yee, better known as Kanye West, has recently mentioned that he doesn't read books and that reading to him is like eating Brussels sprouts. Don't worry, Yee. We can tell. This ye doesn't sound so godly to Demetrius. All of us eat our vegetables, even Brussels sprouts. In other news... Wait a second, that's the end? There's... There's no other news? Did you say no news? Oh yes, oh yes, joyous day, Francis day! That ended rather quickly. I could have sworn there was more to do, more to talk about, to see, to experience together, right? No, David, there's no more. It's our time now. It's time to adventure into the wilderness once again. <sighs> Back to the office, I guess. Now, David, not so fast. Before we go, I think you know what we should do. <gasps> you mean it? Of course I mean it. Do I ever lie? No, never. You always tell the truth, even when it kills someone. Let's go, David. Let's go have our wonderful day, Demetrius and David Day, together forever. You guys ever heard of the JR-15? 
It's a JR15. It's a 22 caliber AR15 designed specifically for children. Would you like me to keep drawing the sword or should I like, should I just have it out all the time? Because I can do both. <laughs> I can get a sword. This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get accounting, which is like vanquishing enemies, but in the realm of numbers. Sure. That's totally how it works. Yes. I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah, we'll start here. Nice one. <laughs> <laughs> <My> face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's my white boy face. <laughs> Nick's on switcher. Nick, it's all about me. This is my show now. I'm taking over. I'm the new producer. You are no longer needed here anyway. <laughs> Don't stop dancing, monkey boy. <laughs> 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 